For one of said today, it's time to tone down the rhetoric reacting to the burning in effigy of Hillary Rodden Clinton. The times may have changed, but the scare tactics haven't. The healthcare industry spent over $100 million to defeat Hillary's health care plan, and they succeeded. And I want now to introduce to you the president, because he loves the Easter egg roll. For the next seven years in the White House, she wasn't allowed to bring it up again. Is anybody here older than two? A decade and a half went by, and still America had no universal health plan. The United States slipped to number 37 in healthcare around the world, just slightly ahead of Slovenia. <laughs> but that's understandable, because Congress was busy with other matters. Mr. Speaker, today I rise to offer congratulations to the confectioners of Just Born Incorporated as they celebrate the 50th anniversary of one of their most recognized and celebrated products not to mention my daughter's favorite, marshmallow peeps. And thus the healthcare industry went unchecked into the early 21st century. The amount of more than doubles its fourth quarter profit, lifts its earnings outlook for the year as well. United Health has tripled its share price. Making obscene profits. Better than expected earnings. One of them is that there's a lot of really wealthy shareholders out there right now. Are they willing to actually share some of that wealth? Turning their CEOs into billionaires and skirting the law whenever they wanted. But their biggest accomplishment was buying our United States Congress.